Hi guys, welcome to Ian's Pilot Focus. What we're going to focus on today is the AC1 controller. The AC1 controller has a minimum fan speed and a thermostat. You set your thermostat to where it wants to be. Let's say you're running at 28 degrees, so you set this at 26. It still has a two degrees band width. So again, it will be coming out of minimum speed at 26. It will be on full speed at 28. Uh, it's got a plug-in probe in the bottom. I'll tell you how it works. You unplug the probe, it becomes a dimmer. Literally, you set the right hand dial, it will just sit at that speed. You plug the thermostat in, it becomes a thermostatic controller. That means the left hand side is the thermostat, the right hand side is the minimum speed. When you get to 26 degrees or whatever you've set your dial at, it will come out of minimum speed and ramp up to full speed over that two degrees bandwidth. It's a really, really great controller. If it is overloaded, what will happen, it will bypass the internal mechanism and just run your fan at full speed. When it's not overloaded, it will ramp back down and become a thermostatic fan controller again. So it's very, very difficult to blow this controller up because if it feels like you're overpowering it, what it will do, just ramp up to full speed, bypass all the gubbins inside, and it will just become a dimmer. As soon as it feels that it's out of that threat, so it's no longer being overpowered, it will ramp back to what it should be doing. So it's a great little controller when you're running AC fans. Really great little controller. We hardly get any back, and if we do get them back, it's because they've been overloaded and you've bypassed it all and blown the fuels. But again, it's a great little controller. If you want any more information, jump on the gas website.